Yo, what's good, y'all, man? It's your boy, JP Productions, and welcome back to the channel. If you are new, please be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and also subscribe if you are new. I'm sorry if I sound funny, man. I just woke up like an hour ago, you know? We're straight to the grind. But today, we are going to be breaking down Jimmy Butler's Game 3 highlights. Now, shout out to the Lakers. I know they just won the chip, but, bro... You cannot lie to me, bro. Jimmy Butler has went off this season as far as the bubble. Like, he went dummy. So, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and break down each play of his game three performance. All right. All right. So, let's go ahead and get it popping. He dropped 40 this game, too. So, all right. So, this one right here. First play. First player right here. He's gonna be on the right side of the court, right? LeBron's on him. He got Tyler Hero in that corner. Tyler's coming to set the screen. As you can see, LeBron right here. LeBron is focused on the screen. I don't know if they're saying switch or stay. I don't know what they're saying. I'm not on the court, so I can't really tell you. But you can see, you can tell by LeBron's body language that he's focused on that screen. And as far as Jimmy Butler, he is the ball handler. This is one of those plays where it's like, if you see your defender, he's so focused on that screen, you can easily blow by him. And especially, look at, look at my man's coos right here, bro. My man's is upright. He's standing straight up. He's not in a defensive stance. Hence the reason why Jimmy Butler just blows by him. The early lead. Just like that. Anthony Davis, I'm sorry, my guy, you a good blocker, but Jimmy Butler's already there. Jimmy Butler drives and finishes. Next play. Butler's got you got Butler against AD. You got Green in the paint, okay. Butler's got Davis on him down this time. Feed inside of Robinson. Oh, good loss. Nice that was a good pass. Good pass right there. Good pass. Okay. So we know we know Debo is gonna shoot that ball. Butler with the ball. As you can see, Robinson rejects the screen that's coming from Leonard, I believe. He rejects the screen. So now he's cutting back. Look at these two guys right here. LeBron, Dwight, they're not even facing. They're, they don't even see what's going on behind them. So they're out the picture. AD, he's focused on the ball handler, which is Jimmy Butler. So now it is Contavious, which he's out of position, and it's Danny Green. Got Davis. Robinson cuts back. Green has a few options. He could either come here for Robinson or he can stay with his man so he's 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 in the mud you know he's in the sand because he, he doesn't know what to do but Robinson blows by and he gets that good layup 13 assists to career to career high form oh good defensive play good defensive play good defensive play okay Hold on. LeBron coming down the court. Jimmy Butler. d him up. As you can see, LeBron gets past him a little bit, right? But look at this. Look at the little poke steal from behind. Look at that. You see his hand right here? I believe that's his hand right there. Right here. And he pokes it out. See, when it comes to that, especially younger players, it used to be the same thing with me. Every time after a crossover, yeah, I might get by, but that split second, that one big dude always rips you from behind. And I believe I got a video on that. If I don't, please let me know. But how Jimmy Butler got that steal was, is because of his long arms, bro. Having long arms helps. It really does. And if you don't have long arms, you could try it. But if you got long arms like JB, is really gonna help you out, bro. Just a simple steal by Butler, which leads to an open, fast break. Buck. Two. Then with the seal down the other end, they throw it ahead to Butler, and Butler throws it down. 
And Frank Vogel had twice as many turnovers as they have field goals right now. Butler drives, spins, goes right to the rim and gets it a ball. Jimmy Butler. All right. So this one right here. <clears throat> okay. JB coming down the court. You can see the paint is pretty much clear, right? He has Contavious on him, I believe. AD, he is pretty much not dropped back, but he's in this little area right here. Near the elbow. Field goals right. Okay, so Olenek coming for the screen. I'm sure Anthony Davis has told Contavious screen's coming. So now in Contavious' mind, he's like, okay, I got a screen coming. What Jimmy Butler does, as you can see, that little that little in and out that he does. Let me let me go back real quick. I don't know if y'all see it. Look at that. That little in and out that he does. I don't shoot, he did the in and out. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't effective at all. But he tried to, you know, fake Contavious into that screen, which didn't work. Good defensive play by um Pope. But he stays with Butler, and Jimmy Butler, as you can see, is driving into Kentavious Caldwell Pope. He's driving into, he's not driving around. See, that's the thing with a lot of younger players, bro. A lot of younger players, they tend to drive around to avoid the contact. If you drive around, that ends up, that lets your defensive player basically come to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want them to come to you. You want to be able to create that contact and get in front of them, get ahead, so you'll have that advantage. So good job by uh, good job by Butler to drive straight into Caldwell Pope. As you can see, he has a little angle, but Caldwell Pope is doing a good job staying in front of him. He bodies him a little bit, which is important, guys. If you don't have, you don't have that muscle, you're not gonna be able to do stuff like Jimmy Butler does right here. Look. Field goals right now. He goes driving in, bumps him a little bit, spins, then he shoots it like a little runner. That's a new possession here. Olenek to Butler. Butler to the basket. A couple of fakes. Backs away, nails it. That's tough. This one right here. A couple of fakes. Okay. The ball, Jimmy now. All right. Got some new possession here. Catches the ball immediately. He catches it in the air, so he takes like a mini hop, and then he jabs towards his left side. Watch, watch his feet. Watch his feet right here. He catches, then he jabs with his left foot right here. To fake coups. To Butler. He drives into space, creates Butler contact. Goes for the pump fake. Now, normally, whenever players pump fake like that, the defender would jump. And I'm pretty sure if he were to jump, Butler would have tried to get that and one. But Kuz did a good job at staying down, standing his ground. I don't know how tall Kuz is, 6'9", six, 6'10", six, I don't know, maybe 6'7". Um, but he does a good job, bro. Especially, like, guys, if you are taller than the player that's trying to go up for that, for the shot like Butler's doing right now, all you gotta do is raise your arms up. You don't need to jump, bro. Use your, take your height, use it as an advantage. You ain't gotta do all this funny, goofy stuff, bro. Just keep your hands up and wait for them to jump first. Kuz does a good job standing his ground. Butler sees that. So he takes a little contact right here. Let's go back. Not gonna lie, I feel like he probably wanted to go up and under with it, but what's it called? Is that JaVale? No, that's Morris. Let's see. Butler Drives. Couple of Wanted it up and under. No. Decides to take a little fade away right here. Fakes. Jumps backwards. Away, create that it. space. Hits that fader. Butler goes right at Danny Green and yes, yes, home. That's just That's just body right there. That one in general, that's just the body. See, you, it is important, bro, to be able to be strong. Because if you're not strong, you're not going to be able to make plays like this right here. This is just, 
You know, this is, you know, big guard. That's muscles right there. Let's see. I'm going to show you all again. Backs away and nails it. Butler goes right at Danny Green yes. and banks him home. Goes right at Danny Green and yes. banks. Yeah, pretty much. Paint's clear. He sees that. He sees Green on him. He takes full advantage. Literally drives into Green, bumps him. He finishes. Goes right at Danny Green and banks him home. Make the rebound. Heat up three as we approach the midway point here in the second. Mid-range jumper from Butler. Little pull up. Points. Focus and LeBron James a great job getting into the seams and making another fine play. Duncan Robinson hits the three. That's he tough. Tough shot. There was contact tough shot. For the rebound. Butler drives and finishes. Yep, that's another play right there, man. That's one of those other plays where you got the muscle. Take advantage of that. Especially if you're an aggressive guard like Jimmy Butler. You're not really like a shooter like that as far as from deep. He just drives right into him. Butler drives and finishes. Straight aggressive. Jimmy Butler, 17 points. Tyler Hero. Butler's got Caruso on him. Goes right at him and backs it home and gets knocked down. This one right here. A little simple. Got Caruso on him. So let's look at his team first, bro. You got Hero, Shooter. I forgot man's names right here. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you got Debo, Lucky Robinson, Andre Godala. Not really a shooter, but, you know, he is. I'll take him over, Steph Curry. Hey, that. No, but let's see. Yeah. Butler posting up. As you can see, he got all this space right here. So, Butler could either take a step towards his left and shoot a pull-up, or he could do what he just did, catch the ball, and finish under the rim. Now, because he has Caruso on him, he's going to take advantage of that, guaranteed. He has to, because he's bigger and probably more than likely stronger than Caruso. But if this was, let's just say, a LeBron yeah, he could finish, but he'll probably, you know, shoot a jumper into space, shoot a fadeaway into space. So what he does, catches the ball, gains position, drives straight into Caruso, takes like a mini hop. I'm not sure if y'all seen that, but he takes like a mini hop and finishes. Other Heat players to shrink the floor. Where LeBron sees bodies. James Garning Butler got caught on the Olympic screen and backs it home. Yeah, that's just easy. That's easy. He's showing and then getting back to his initial man. Butler drives on. Got him, coach. Got Jimmy him, Butler coach. Got scores. him, coach. This is another. This is a move right here, guys. If you are a little guard, please, please, please add this to your game. At you guys probably are to do this anyway. But this is one of those moves where okay. So first off. First off, huh? Caught on the Olympic screen and backs it home. Okay. He's showing and then getting back. He's got Kuz on him. My lengthy defender. Anthony Davis wearing down here by the block. If he drives in, Anthony comes in to help. He easily has Crowder right here in the corner. We all know JB, he's not a shooter. He likes to drive, especially in this game right here. He's been dominating. He dropped 40 points this game, all right? But before we get into the 40 points, he's been driving all game long. He's been gaining fouls all game long. So what that does for the defense, that puts pressure on them because they don't want to keep fouling because if they keep on fouling, that means more points for JB. So what Butler does right here, Back to his initial he drives at Kuz, right? Yes, he probably could have finished, but look at Kuz. Look at his position right here. Yeah, Butler probably could have got the foul, but he did the smart thing. He did like a mini pump fake to get his defender out the picture, and he, he takes it. He takes the bait. 
then he floats it up. That little fake, once you get, once you gain that first step on your defender, that mini fake, that will help you so much. Then you can just finish from there. But everything he does on the floor and off the court. One of the smartest players who's played in the NBA. Butler, tough fall away. Shot is good. Yeah, that's just... Ooh, that me range, that me range tough. Me range tough right there. I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick. Posting up Morris right here. Once again, see, now if this was Caruso, if this was Caruso, he more than likely will probably attack him and finish with a layup or like a mini runner. But now this is Morris. This is a bigger, taller, stronger player. And he knows that. And yes, he, he's not going to back down just because the defender is bigger. Oh, I can't shoot a layup. But it's just having that IQ like, okay, I got a bigger defender on me. And he's a player. Jimmy Butler's a player that has that mid-range game with him. So he can easily, easily, you know, shoot that little fadeaway, which he does. So he looks around. Dribbles to a spot. Takes a mini hop right here. Then he fades back for the fadeaway, which is a tough shot. That's a tough shot right here. But hey, he's an NBA All-Star. They make tough shots. Shot is good. Along with Kelly Olenek, exceptional at handing off and faking handoff. That's a good pass. That's a good pass. See, for all my players that are not ball dominant as far as you're not dribbling the ball, this is something that you got to do. You may be a shooter, but if you want that ball, you can't just sit in the corner all game long and expect to, you know, get buckets. Now, you could do that, but look, without this, without this cut, without this cut from Crowder, as you can see, LeBron is totally ball watching, which is why Crowder cuts. Without Crowder dropping down for the cut, Butler's assist, Crowder's points, this would not be possible. It would not be possible. And it's a close game, 83 to 87. The Miami Heat, they're already down a man. I don't think I don't think Bam came back this game. They were missing Bam and Goron. They need all the buckets they could get. And they're versus the Lakers. They got LeBron, um, Rondo, Caruso, Kuz, A D. They got all those talented players. They need all the buckets they can get. So this little simple play right here will help you a ton. So please cut more, guys. If you're a shooter, cut more. You see your ball handler driving? Cut to the rim or find an open spot where you can make the pass for your ball handler a lot more easier for him to pass it and a lot more easier for you to score. Good job by Crowder. Just an easy bucket. Good pass. Yeah, that's just a tough shot. That's a tough shot. That is a good pass. That is a good pass. At that quick flips okay. it up at hand, Jimmy Butler. At that quick release, there's no way he's gonna get get back in front of LeBron. Okay. 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 Jimmy Butler. At that All right. quick release. All right. There's no way he's gonna get. Okay. If I can get to. At that quick release. All right, Jimmy Butler, up top. I want to believe Olenek was probably going to set LeBron a screen, no which he kind of failed to do. Butler went a little too early. Gonna... Butler drives in. Get back. And as you can see, you got one, two, three. Butler could have forced his way in, but that would have been a really tough shot, tough layup to make. But as you can see, Morris decides to come in and help, which leads Olenek back here. LeBron, I'm not LeBron and Morris, I'm not sure what their conversation was. I'm not sure if they said switch, stay. I don't know. I can't tell you that because I'm not on that court. But as you can see, it is now uh two against one. 
And when it's a two against one, somebody's got to be open. Olenek, Olenek right here. Olenek does a great job by getting back and getting to his spot. Uh -huh. Butler notices that he is double teamed, which means somebody is open. Okay. Great pass right to his chest. Kelly and above him. Yeah, this video, video is too long, bro. <laughs> This is a good pass. Good pass. Hero sets the screen. Caldwell Polk picks him up. One on one. Butler backs in. Backs in. That fall away shot is up and good. Good pass. Good look. It's an eight point shot. Be the ball. Butler the drive. The runner. He banks it in. Oh, what a masterpiece! Yeah, this is a. This is one of those right here. Before we wrap it up, let's see. Okay. The drive, the runner, he Butler up top near half court. Sets the screen. As you can see, Crowder sets the screen, which takes the big man out. Miami has nothing but shooters out on the floor. Olenek, he's a shooter. Crowder, he's a shooter. Hero, shooter. Robinson, shooter. Because all of those players are shooters. All of the defenders, they must come up. They got to clear the paint. As you can see, the paint is wide open. And due to Crowder setting that screen, that gets Morris out of the paint, which leaves the paint open. You see? Oh. Sets the screen. Now it's a mismatch. It's Butler and Morris. Butler is more quicker on his feet, guaranteed. But Morris has that height. Morris probably more than likely has that wingspan as well. So what Butler does now, and plus, yo, it's 100 to 107. Miami wants to win this. One, the, the time is 1 minute and 15 seconds. And Lakers only down by 7. Bro, that's, that's enough time. That may not seem like a lot of time, but that is, that is a good amount of time to make a comeback. What Butler does is, because we know he's going to score, attacks Morris right in his chest, and he doesn't just shoot. A regular layup he shoots an off foot layup I'm not sure if you guys see it but look takes a long step with his left oh, I'm so tweaking what am I thinking <laughs> my bad low no. so he's driving in creates contact then he takes a long step with his right foot then he jumps off his right foot and finishes with his right hand Good defense by Morris by staying vertical because if he would have jumped into Butler, it would have been a foul. There's nothing much you could do. And Butler does a good job by scoring with his off foot because if he would have scored and jumped off his left foot and did a regular layup, he probably would have got blocked. But since his layup was so off timing, that gave him some leeway. He got the bucket. Oh, what a masterpiece from Jimmy Butler. And he went dummy that game. For sure. All right, y'all. Right, that's going to conclude the breakdown for Jimmy Butler's Game 3 performance. Once again, man, I already knew Lakers are going to win, man. But it's tough, man. I wouldn't be... I wanted the Lakers to win, but I wanted the Heat to win. Because the Heat were the underdogs all series long. But I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Let me know if you guys want me to do more of these. Just drop a comment down below and definitely like the video so I know that you guys want me to do more of these, all right? It's your boy JP, man. I appreciate all of you guys for staying staying for 24 minutes because this thing is long. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video.